Hello guys, welcome to a new video of Cobalt. I'm so excited today to share with you my journey for the OSWE certification and exam. Uh, together we will be discovering the basic of OSWE certification with some very very interesting topics and we look also on what and how to approach the OSWE exam. I think we can start. Let's go with the intro. So let's start from the beginning. What is OSWE? OSWE is an advanced web application course that will give you exactly the knowledge and the skills to conduct a web application penetration test, a white box pen test. So it's very important to understand that many people maybe they know like OSCP and other certification. But what I want to say is always to people that they ask me is that OSWE is not like a sprint race like OSCP where in 24 hours you have to work five, four, six machines. OSWE is like, like a marathon. It's a very long process. It's like two days, 48 hours of exam. We will jump later. We will understand how the exam is, is done and how to prepare it together. But what I want to, to tell like in the beginning uh, is that uh, you you have to take it very calm, like certification, prepare it step by step. So, like all the courses from OFSEC, the course provides you slides and video about uh, the, to the different topics that you can find. On the website of OFSEC, maybe we'll, I will leave the link uh, below in the, in the video, in the description, you can find very, very big uh, information about what is OSWA. Uh, one of the interesting stuff is like about the topics. The course is very, very, very pronated to advanced web attacks like desalization different type of desalization with different type of language that will jump straight forward just in a moment so one of the interesting things is like going to look at the syllabus and try to understand if it's like you know these vulnerabilities or maybe you found in a previous job you already do penetration tests so for you of course it would be more easy to do web app application testing and so on but the syllabus of the course is very very rich and is going very deep on every single topics one of the main aspects that we have to understand like a white box penetration test when we say white box, uh, many people they have different opinion, but when we say white box penetration test, specific on web application, what does it mean? Well, it doesn't mean code review. Yes, this certification is everything about code review. So if you don't like programming, if you don't want to read code or whatever, uh, maybe you have to look for a different certification. Personally, I will give you a small background of myself and education. I have a background on computer engineering, the information technology, uh, working in the Pinterest industry almost like five and a half years, almost six years. I have many certifications like the OSCP, the AWT from Learn Security. I did recently uh, the BERP certification. So many certifications that go in like in networking and in web and, and so on. So the things that came to approach the OSW and why I wanted to take this certification is that with the years that you, will, you are doing penetration tests, penetration tests like Blade Box or Gray Box, I started to understand, you know, that I wanted to go more like deep, you know, like trying to read code, uh, uh, speaking with developer, doing application security stuff. I did application security like a job, not only penetration tester. So everything that I want to say that all my career is like on the offensive side for penetration test, but also for application security. So it's something that I already done and I like it and I wanted to go more deep. The things is that uh, doing penetration test uh, is always like uh, many people they say opposite stuff you need to be a developer or you don't need to be a developer the, the answer is like uh, of course you don't need to be a developer okay but one of the things that i like uh, to call myself uh, and i call also with my friend with my team uh, is like that we are like a scripter so some somebody that can read code okay but can also easily create like i don't know very very short snippet of code the script that can run you know for the i don't know for some particular custom purpose or whether doing your penetration test or for example for identifying vulnerability in some source code you you can write you can write some automatization about it and so on so one important stuff is that to be a very good penetration tester you have to know how to read the code php java javascript uh, .NET framework with c sharp and whatever 
they are very, very important. The course is focusing on these main languages because like in the web application area, these are the main uh, programming languages they are used. Of course, there are other ones, but these are the, like the most important. So one of the things that I recommend before really to jump on this course and start also to do labs and look in the syllabus uh, and look at the course, the material and other stuff is like, uh, Ask to yourself is like if you are a good programmer or not, or if you are a good scripter, or if you can read code very well. So, for example, what I did when before to start to approach the certification in my career, I had, ex I had really a lot of experience in cases with PHP, of course, Java a lot, really a lot. Uh, many, for example, applications written in Python, yes, I tested, but not so many um, experience with Chisha, for example. So, I bought a course on Udemy, you can find many in many websites, a course of C-Sharp that gave me exactly the knowledge and the necessary skill to approach this exam. The necessary skill is like writing the basic, so understanding the basic of C-Sharp. Then in the following, you know, when you know already Java, C-Sharp is very easy to understand and to learn it. So the basic of C-Sharp on writing the, the programming language, but also like how to do the bug of application and so on because the bugging is one of the key of this exam, but we will jump, uh, we will jump later. So coming back to the motivation and, and for that I bought this course is like, because I wanted to go more deep on the programming side, uh, on developing application, understand them, like how the developer wrote the code, uh, how to fix this bug, for example. So yeah, application security stuff. So let's jump on the course and see how they are the labs. The labs, they are very good and they cover a wide range of web application, of course, vulnerabilities. Um, there are classic typical vulnerabilities like XSS, SQL injection, other stuff, but for a different point of view, where you, before you are reading the code, you are trying to understand the vulnerability, you are exploiting the vulnerability, and also you are writing a script to make all an automatization for this exploitation. So I don't know, maybe from the beginning of broken authentication, uh, session management or something else coming to the injection and getting, for example, remote code execution to the application. This, everything done with a single script, for example, in Python, for example, you can write it in every single language. Personally, I approached the exam and I really, really, really studied and went deep uh, in Python because for me, Python is one of the best uh, programming language for scripting. So. Uh, so I used Python, but I know people um, that they told me that they use different programming language. For example, Golang is very useful. So yeah, actually you can write your automatization, your scripting, your scripting code in different languages. Uh, personally, I choose Python. So the lab materials, are, I will say that they are well written. They give you very deep knowledge and very deep understanding of what, what is the vulnerabilities. They explain you very good the bug, so they analyze the source code very well done, and they teach you and they guide you for the exploitation of the vulnerability. One of the things that we have to say about the labs, uh, they really require, I would say, a lot of personal research. Like uh, they give you the right input, they give you some uh, some tips, some topic that maybe you have to search like by yourself. And this, for example, is the key that I found. And I mean, is like the core, you know, of office security, like try harder because they give you the right uh, like piece of the puzzle. But after you have to, you know, you have to put it together by yourself. So this for me, doing the labs uh, was very, very helpful. Uh, what I recommend, and this is the step that methodology that I followed to, to, to approach for the labs. Uh, before I read all the course material, so I went for the PDF, I went for the video, and in the meantime, I, I was trying to do the first time all the labs. So look in the video, look in the course material, trying to do the labs together. So when I finished, I did the second time all the labs. In fact, when I bought the course, after when I finished, I bought an extent of 30 days for the labs while preparing for my exam because I did the labs two times. I did the labs two times. The first time was like, uh, in fact, how I told like with reading the, the material and doing the labs. The second time I tried to do it by myself, try to do it by myself with automation script. So everything like uh, getting ready, you know, for the certification for the exam. I was taking every single machine like independent. So I was, I know of course the vulnerabilities with the notes that I took before. I was going to read the code. I was doing the bug in the course they teach you very very good how to do debugging for example with Java application with not .NET application so they are very very helpful and debugging in the exam will very very uh, help you a lot 
uh, the second time I will say that it was more easy for me to understand that you are developing very, very different knowledge of Python from creating a web server inside the script, uh, changing data, injecting, creating post requests, get requests in different uh, type of way. So for me, it was very interesting and very helpful because after in the exam, exactly this, for, this methodology for me, it helped me a lot. So uh, overall, I can say that the, spending the time in the labs is very, very time consuming. So what I can tell you is like, if you are taking the three months um, package from the offsec course, uh, I would say like uh, the first time you have to do the syllabus very quickly and uh, going through the labs uh, in, in, a in, a, in, in a fast way. Uh, the second time, so I took like three months, the package from 90 days of labs, and after I did an extend of another 30 days. So how I can say, uh, yes, it required a lot of time, but really it give you really, really a lot of benefits. One more aspect that many people, maybe they don't focus so much or that they, that they stop, uh, is like the extra mile. Uh, for every topic in the course, you can see the syllables, uh, there is an extra mile. An extra mile is maybe the same vulnerability that you studied before and you did the, 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 the lab, but maybe for, uh, from a different point of view. For example, in, in the course, there are, I don't know, uh, a web application that is written in, in one way, and maybe the external is telling you to search the same application, or maybe with a different framework, and to find the same bug. Or maybe the external is telling you that on the application, there is another way how to exploit, for example, injection, a remote code execution, or whatever. So they are telling you, like, okay, that is, you have to find it by yourself. That for me is very, very important. I spend a lot of time and doing the extra mile and I suggest you to do all of them. And of course, the first time, like the same, like the course, I did it like looking back on my notes, uh, try to understand the vulnerability. So trying to, to understand where the bug maybe could be. And the second time I was like uh, writing a script, you know, for all the automatization of the process. So from the beginning, like uh, the authentication by us uh, to the second, like, I don't know, grabbing some token, becoming admin, and the fourth one like injecting and getting remote access to, to, the, to the machine. So the extra mile for me, they are very important and I really suggest you to at least, you know, try to do all of them because they give you also, you know, like lateral thinking, like uh, they give you really a uh, prospect of what is the exam and how maybe you, you will be, you know, in front of an application that you don't know with where, where is the vulnerability, which line of code, but you have to find it. So really, really extra mile. Yes, we have to do it. So before to jump like on the exam and give you my tips and how I approach the exam, so on my exam day, I'd like to add another topic that I will call it like extra learning. Extra learning are this topic where like where you can learn things and improve your knowledge, improve your skills uh, to prepare for the exam. As I told you before, I bought a course of C-Sharp to understand it better, but when I practice, it's a very well platform. Since I discovered almost like two years ago, this platform uh, is done like, uh, I don't know, for security people, DevOps, uh, programmers, they want to develop like security guidelines and write secure code. And for me, it's very, very well done. I'm speaking about Secure Flag. Secure Flag is a secure coding training platform, it helps really developer, DevOps, uh, never wants to jump on security on writing code secure. So. Secure, secure flag really you can get it like for example with a, fra a free subscription if you have a, if you are a, a member of OWASP so you can get a uh, you can you can be a member of OWASP and you can um, log in on secure flag for free and really give you a lot of exercise uh, on different type of language so before to jump on my exam I did a lot of, of lot of training for single vulnerabilities like in Java for example SQL injection broken authentication bypass uh, access control and other type of, type of vulnerabilities that maybe were a little reflecting what was in the topics, but a different point of view. So this for sure, the second flag helped me really a lot to understand and how to approach to the exam, like accessing to that application, reading the code, you know, and uh, and try to understand where, for example, the bug was um, and trying to, to like literally to exploit it. So coming and jumping to my exam day was very funny because I booked my exam at 7 a.m. and I was alone 
uh, at home, you know. So I was really afraid, you know, to don't wake up. So I slept all the day before, around like two in the morning, I wake up and I start my exam work was at 7 a.m. So from two, you know, till seven, I was trying to prepare my machine, my webcam, because of course, like all the exam, like the all the OFCMC security um, exam, like OFSEC and other one, they are proctored, so there is somebody, um, a remote that is controlling your screen and other stuff. And uh, so yeah, I started before, you know, many hours, like to focus with all my coffee and other stuff. I started 7 a.m., you know, and I really, really scheduled my timetable, like what to do and how much every time I have to take a break. Because yes, as I told you before, uh, OSW exam is not like offensive security, like the OSCP course, the OSCP exam. It's not like a ride, it's not like a very speed trip or other stuff, but it's like more a marathon. Uh, I took a lot of break. Uh, I did breakfast, for example, when I started around 10 a.m. and other stuff. So my goal was to make one big application, so to finish one application every day, that's I had. So in the final, I will say that's uh, almost with four or five breaks for each application. These five breaks, it could be like, uh, this. I found this timetable with five breaks during all my day. It could be like different, could be, it could be one break, for example, to stop, I don't know, to take a coffee, to take a break, to smoke a cigarette if you're smoking or whatever. So very short time, or maybe for example, doing breakfast, doing lunch. I also slept during my exam because of course, 48 hours of exam is, it's very long trip, so you have to rest. Uh, so for example, the first day when I fin finished my application, I started 7 a.m., almost around one, I already had like almost the first flag. Uh, and around in the evening, uh, I had also the second flag. Uh, and I started, for example, to write a code. What I can say about the certification and tips is like, uh, of course, they are rabbit hole. They could be rabbit hole like in the application when you're doing code review. There are a lot of rabbit holes that could be. So one of the tips that I can recommend you, like when you're doing your exam, try, the, uh, try for example, the first thing that I, I did is like trying to understand what the application is doing. Try to understand what the application is doing because it's very important to understand which could be the functionality that you can go to look after on the source code, okay? For example, login, uh, reset password, uh, whatever there is, like trying to understand all this functionality, doing a list of this functionality, and after going on the source code to look this functionality and maybe try to identify a bug or vulnerability. So this so guys for in conclusion of this video I really really thank to you I really want to thank the Cobalt community and all the Cobalt platform put a like on the video subscribe to the channel and we we'll see you to the next video bye